Dylan has had a huge, huge change in his personality. He said please to Martha. And please may have been, that may have been the first time he said that word to anybody. Um, he was so spoiled, he was so used to getting his way that he had never said please before. And it just blew Martha's mind. So Martha was like, yep, got to get Mary over there. So that was, that was one thing. And Mary decided that she was going to trust Colin and tell him the truth about the garden existing and being open or openable. I don't know if Mary is keeping the key on or if she just unlocked the garden and left it unlocked. But um, anyway, so she told Colin the truth about that. And he understood why he didn't tell her in the beginning. Because, you know, they just had this big conversation about how terrible he used to be. And he was like, yeah, I was a monster. And she's like, yes, you were a monster. And he, you know, she said he didn't trust him. And it's nice to see how good behavior, good manners and such can be contagious, not just bad ones. So if you want to be, if you want people to be good, it helps if you are good around them because people tend to reflect what they see around them. If they see ugliness, then they'll be ugly. If they see beauty, they'll be beautiful. They'll be kind if they see kindness. So people tend to reflect what they see around them. And Mary threw off all of these bad vibes as a child. And Colin did as well. And that made the people around them harsh to them. Harsh to Mary, harsh to Colin. Now, Dickon is friendly, and he throws out this friendliness like a lamp. He's like this bright, shining beacon of goodness. And because of that, because the people around him kind of catch on and reflect it, they become better people for that. And if you can be that sort of person, if you can be a person who builds up, who lights the way for other people, who shows that goodness can exist. That is one of the greater things, greatest things you can be in this world.